guys, welcome back to The Wandering Wind. So today I wanted to give you guys a bit of a treat. I've never done this before, but I wanted to give you guys a tour of my home network. So, I'm going to walk you through everything that I do um, to uh, kind of keep myself connected to the web and, uh, you know, all the kinds of goodies that I've got, which admittedly aren't a lot, but, you know, maybe it'll be interesting to you. Anyway, let's get started with the basics. So here we've got my cable modem from Spectrum, as well as my Wi-Fi router, which is a Netgear something or other. I've got the modem Ethernet connected into my Wi-Fi router, and then from there I've got it set up to go up directly to my um, bedroom with this Ethernet cable. Which extends up into my... Um, into my Ethernet switch up here behind my webcam, which then connects into my other Wi-Fi router, which I use to handle most of the routing of Ethernet cables between this room and the other devices in my house. This laptop right here is actually my Plex media server, which I use for all my media streaming from local devices. I use a one and a half hard drive, one and a half terabyte hard drive. Um, located right there to actually um, <laughs> serve all the media files since the hard drive on the internals isn't great. The other hard drive over there is actually for um, file, file storage and backups of all my important stuff like, well, just basically anything I need to keep safe or anything that I need to, uh, you know, keep from getting lost. Like, for example, the files for my game. Um, surprisingly enough, flash storage like this is not as reliable as you might think, although these are fairly new, so I hope that they would work better than the three-year-old stuff that I've had forever that, frankly, uh, yeah, sucked. Majorly sucked. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, that was just a tour of my home network. I, I enjoy showing you guys stuff. I've got this... Um, LED strip back here that I use too. Um, I like it. I usually have to turn the lights off when I use it so that, that way it doesn't um, completely blur out everything. But, you know, it works nice. It works okay. I can, I can always turn the brightness down and see if that works, but that usually makes it flicker. And I don't like it flickering. I don't know why it flickers. I'm not sure that's an issue with my camera, an issue with the software, or what, but, you know, I don't like it. I don't like it. And I don't think you guys wouldn't like it either. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you would. Maybe you would. Um, guys, I just want to thank you guys so very much for joining me for this network tour. Um, in future, I'll probably add some more cool stuff, like maybe an actual high-grade e Ethernet switch or something, and I'll show you that when I get that. I've been thinking about getting one for a while anyway, because this thing is a bit, just a bit, um, old and just a bit, you know, dangerous to use. So I've been thinking about maybe getting something different for a while. I might, I might save up and, or just use my, I'll just use my stimulus check and get something. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Until next time, thanks for joining me, thanks for watching, and thanks for being subscribed to my channel. You guys are awesome. Have a nice day.